What is going on guys? This is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our 11th Java tutorial. Uh, one Before I get started today, I want to uh, give some shout outs to my new subscribers and my newcomers and any viewers. I want you all guys to know that this is an open community and you guys are free to leave feedback, comments, or suggestions, anything like that. It, my whole page is open for discussion. Um, any comments you leave on my page or suggestions will be answered or responded to. I respond to all comments and suggestions. So yeah, just you guys just feel free to leave comments. You know, whenever you have any questions or you know you want to say thanks or you want to tell me how great of a job I'm doing, you know, I would really appreciate it for you guys to you know leave some feedback. But anyway, let's get back on the subject. We're here to learn Java. So today we're going to be making our lab tutorial and. We're going to be kind of putting together a couple things that we learned in some of our past tutorials. Um, and we're going to be putting it together into one program today. So today we're going to be making a program called uh, a weekly pay. And basically what we want to do is we want to ask the user for their hourly pay. And then we actually want to ask them for their hours a week that they work or the amount of hours that they're required to work a week. And then we need to ask the user for any uh, overtime hours and we're just going to assume that the overtime is um, well let's just assume that the overtime is multiplied the, the overtime pay is multiplied times uh, 1.5 or or basically uh, well yeah we do 1.5 percent so let's just do 1.5 and we're going to multiply that times the overtime and that's going to give them their overtime pay so the first thing, let's go ahead and start our a new project. So let's go to File, New, and our new Java project. And let's call this project uh, Weekly Pay. So we can call our project the Weekly Pay. All right. So our Weekly Pay. So let's go ahead and make our class. And we're going to call our class, let's call our class, uh, week uh, let's do week cap well week pay let's do salary pay yeah that, is, that doesn't make much sense but it'll work so let's do salary pay and check public static void and uncheck inherited abstract method and finish all right so here we go so the first thing we know we want to do is we know we're going to be taking uh, input from the user so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and import our scanner, and I'm sure you all all you guys know what the scanner is now and what it's used for now. I'm pretty sure you, all you guys are familiar with it now. Um, we went over and over and over and over and over, so I know you guys are familiar with it now. So let's do import and we're going to import Java dot util dot and we're going to do scanner. All right. So we just imported our scanner to take import in, inputs from the user. So let's go ahead and, and instantiate our program or inflate our program so we can have it inside our pro. Our, uh, let's inflate the scanner so we can have it inside our program to use. So let's go ahead and do scanner reader equals new scanner and system dot in. All right. So there we go. We just inflated our, our scanner class into the program and we call our scanner a reader. So let's go ahead and make our variables. So the first variable we want to do is we know we're going to be asking user, user for their hourly pay. So that's the first thing we want to ask. We're going to set our variable to. So let's use a double because it may be a decimal. It may be like a, I make $125 an hour and 50 cents. So we want to actually make it where they can have a decimal. So let's do double and we're going to do total. Well, let's do uh, pay per well, pay per hour. And let's end it. All right. So we have our pay per hour right there. And we need another variable. And this variable needs to be the hour a week. So this this is going to be an integer because it the hours a week only can be uh, like a three point, like a 36 hour or a 46 hour or you know what? It could it could actually be like a three point thirty six point five, which is like thirty six hours and thirty minutes. But um, in this program, we can just do a double, just to make it a little bit easier. And well, 
let's be flexible. Let's just make it an integer because then we're going to make it more flexible so the user can actually be specific with, with how many hours they enter. So let's do int and we're going to do hour. Let's do hours a week. Hours a week. And we need to capitalize the first letter of each new word just so we can know what we're, we're making there. So um, we have our int and we have our pay per hour and our hours a week. So now we need to make another double and this double needs to be the actual pay because we need to have when we do the pay per hour times the hours a week, we need something to hold the answer. So let's do pay and that's going to be our, set, our third variable. And now we need to make another variable and this variable is going to be our overtime and this is going to be overtime hours well let's just do overtime pay all right and well let's do overtime hours because we need to actually have our hours of our overtime for the user so let's do overtime hours all right and we need one more variable and this variable is going to be the overtime pay so let's do double over time uh, time pay all right so we have our overtime pay so the first thing we want to do is since we have all variables we want to ask the user for their hour their pay per hour so let's do system dot out dot print and we're going to do what is was to enter your pay per hour all right so now we need to bring our scanner in and let our scanner uh whatever the user enters we need to store it in the pay per hour variable so let's do reader was to pay per hour equals and we're going to do eco reader dot next and uh double all right so we just told the pay per hour to equal whatever that next double is that the user enters so now we need to ask the user for this their hours a week so let's do system dot out dot print Enter your uh, regular hours a week. All right, and let's go ahead and equal the hours a week equals our reader dot next, and it's going to be our next int. All right, I've got my parentheses. All right, so enter. So we have our hours a week and we had our hours a week to equal that next integer that the user enters. So now we need to do some and we need, well, one more thing. We need to ask the user what is their overtime hours or how many overtime hours did they work this week? So assuming that we already know what their percentage is of overtime or how much they make of overtime, we'll just uh, make it where it's 1.5. So let's just do 1.5 dot and we're gonna print and enter enter your overtime hours and we're going to have the user we're going to have that uh overtime hours to equal the reader dot next and it's going to be the next double All right, there we go. So now we need to do some calculations. We need to take the user's input and start calculating it. So now we need to do, we need to actually make the regular pay or we need to make the pay. Well, we need to add one more variable here. And the reason why I say that is because we need to first know the regular pay per week so we can figure out what the actual overtime plus the regular pay is. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do reg and reg pay. All right, so reg pay, which is, stands for regular pay. And now let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead and do our calculation. So let's do our regular pay, our regular pay. And our regular pay is going to equal the hour, the pay per hour. And it's going to be the pay per hour times the hours a week. All right, so what regular pay equals the pay per hour times the hours a week. So now we need to figure out our overtime pay. And to do that, we need to do our overtime, our overtime pay is going to equal the overtime hours times 1.5 times the hourly wage or the pay per hour. All right, and there we go. So we just multiplied, we just set our math functions and we did our regular pay to equal the pay per hour times hours a week. And we did our overtime pay to equal the overtime hours times 1.5, which is gonna make the overtime more money than it would be for the regular pay. And we're gonna do a pay per hour times pay per hour and that should give us our formula. And now we need to do is we need to do our pay equals overtime pay plus reg pay plus plus our regular pay and what we just did right here we just have we just took both of these um both of these calculations and we just made both of them we just added both of those together the overtime pay and the regular pay to equal the pay which is the paycheck or whatever you're going to be getting paid so now we need to tell the user what they're going to be getting paid. And to do that, we do a system dot out dot print line. And we're going to do your pay this week will be. And we're going to do space and plus pay. And we end it. All right, so let's go ahead and run this program and let's see how it goes. All right, so there we go. So we see enter your pay per hour, and let's just do uh, let's do sixty five dollars an hour. And it says enter your regular hours a week, and we're just gonna work forty hours a week. And do we have any overtime hours? Let's say we have ten overtime hours. And there it is. So our pay this week will be three thousand five hundred and seventy-five dollars and zero cents. So, and it, just to make it a little more professional, what we could do is we could just uh, add an actual percent sign, or we could add a dollar sign right here, just to make it look a little professional when it puts the pay beside the dollar sign. So let's go ahead and do. Let's run it again, just to run it again and see how it is with the dollar sign, and. Let's do pay per hour. Let's do let's do a hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> That's crazy, but hey, maybe one of us might be making that one day. So let's do a hundred hour, hundred dollars an hour, and enter your hours a week. Let's do forty hours. Enter overtime hours. Let's do let's do twelve and a half hours. Bam! There it is. So it says your pay this week will be five thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars. All right, there it is. Wow, we just did a did a heck of a job with this program, guys. So there it is. So we just took everything we learned and put it into one program, which is our, our week our salary pay program. And I hope all you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe and leave questions, comments, feedback, suggestions. Everything's open for discussion, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.